This might possibly be the coolest fly I've ever designed. What's up guys? So in my last video, I told you guys that I was gonna be heading to the White River and you can't go to any river without having some kind of dry fly. And by dry fly, I mean mouse patterns. Let's go. In this video, we're gonna do a little arts and crafts. So just stick with me here for a little bit. What I have is this double barrel popper head. This is size medium, white. And what I'm gonna do is normally, whenever you put these popper heads in, you start with that hole right there on top and then you run your bodkin through and all that fun stuff. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make a hole um, on the belly of this popper. So I'm gonna go up about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, poke it in. Then what I wanna do is I wanna run it at an angle and then end up in the center of this popper body hole. Take my bodkin, shove it in there. Come on. About like that. Okay, so see how I have that kind of weird push in there. Then you'll take your lighter, warm the end of your bodkin up. That way we can kind of melt that foam, make that hole a little bit bigger. Pull that back through, kind of wiggle my bodkin around a little bit, it's kind of melting that, that foam. There we go. That work. Just like that, so I got a hole right in the middle, and I got this hole right on the bottom side of that popper. <clears throat> Next what I'm going to do is I have my old vise um, here, because we're going to do a little bit of painting. I'm gonna just stick this vodka in my vise. Just kind of hold it, it doesn't matter. And then, oh, come on. Stick the vodka in my vise. There go. So I'm just gonna run this popper body through that vodka just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna put some paper down over my stuff so that way I don't paint anything while we're doing this and I'll probably take some paper towels and just stick it over the top of my vise that way I don't get paint on anything. Next what I have is this Copic airbrush system and I have it linked to a small little air compressor over here on the floor and I'm just gonna take a cool gray number nine Copic marker stick it in just like that and we're just gonna I'm gonna lightly hit it. It's nice even strokes. Just wanna lightly paint this thing light gray. That's all I wanna do. Next, I'm gonna throw a black Copic marker in my, my tool. And I've got these cool patterns that I had bought from Hairline. And it's just a little pattern you throw over the top of the hopper body, like this. Maybe. That's this thing still. And I'm just gonna pull this pattern down over that hopper, I mean, yeah, that hopper body. Spray a little black on top. Like I said, this arts and crafts, I don't think the fish are gonna really know, but I think it looks cool. So, all right. There we go. Nice, you got that cool little pattern on top. Set all that stuff to the side. And the last thing I'm gonna do is pull out this loon soft head. Shake it up real good. It just helps it 
paint stay on while you're fishing and it'll fall apart in the water. I don't think it's necessary if you don't want to do it, but I'd like this thing to last more than one night. set this out to dry. Fortunately, I've already got another one painted up for, so we don't have to worry about that. Set that vice to the side. All right, now we're ready to go. So for the back hook, I'm gonna use this Kona Big Game Hunter. This is a number eight. And we'll just pop one of these in the vise. I'm using black. I think this is 140 denier. the base of that hook. All right, next we have some Ultra Chenille Medium Tan by Hairline. And this is just gonna be our mouse tail. Then I like to take my handy dandy ladder and just kind of Next we're going to go with this EP brush. This is the one and a half inch minnow head and uh, what is this called? Minnow gray. I didn't have any other darker ones with me so we're just going to go with this. Oh, um, so before I tie it on what I like to do is trim just a little bit off the tips. I'm just going to lay my brush in here. Trim about a quarter of an inch off. On each side. Just like that. Kind of gives us a little bit of a taper. <clears throat> Tie that in, go to the front of the hook, and then we're going to take our fibers, brush them all back, and go around the hook shape. What I like to do with this is I don't like to do touching wraps going all the way forward. I kind of like the spiral open wraps because this brush is really thick and you don't want to put too much material on this fly to where it, it makes it really tough for you to cast. So just kind of do open spiral wraps up to the front. Capture that material. Three wraps in front. Some on the other side. Then I'm going to take my junk scissors. that wire. Oh, this is really our junk. Pull all that back. Put a few wraps in front. And then, as always, I'm going to take some super glue, dab it on my thread, and just secure that back into the supply. Take your brush and just brush those fibers out. Kind of make it look poofy, like the body of a mouse. Shoot. All right, next we're going with a 20 millimeter shank by Farman Fishing Company. And I'll just put that shank on the hook first. Always when I use these shanks, I like to just do a little bit of thread up, thread up front, just right around that hook guy. That way, you kind of build it up so that thread doesn't get stuck behind the eye of that shank. And 
and work it back. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Next step is we're gonna go with some Life Flex. This is tan. So what I like to do is I'll take two full strands all the way off this zip tie. I'm just gonna line them up like that. Then we'll fold them in half and then we'll cut them right in the middle. Okay, so now it's kind of giving us four pieces of black flex. And then just take them all together, stick an overhand knot. pieces down. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. trim this brush up a little more but I'm gonna trim a little less off this brush than I did on the for the very back hook. Not too much, just a little less. Okay, then we're going to tie that wire in again. Take this all the way to the front of that shank. I'm gonna throw a little whip finish in there just because I mean a half inch excuse me. And then once again we're gonna palmer this brush around the hook, open spiral loops. scissors. Super glue. There we go. All right, back out the flaws done. I'm gonna go ahead and put a. Um, this is a 25 millimeter shank. And we'll use this to connect the back section to that front section. And then as always, I'll take my forceps, pinch down that loop of that shank, and just shake it back and forth and break it off. Oh, there we go so far. All right, for the front hook, <clears throat> I'm using these A-Rex 
TP650, right? TP650, 26 degree bin, and this is a one off. Now, when we go to tie this body in, I want to tie this with the back hook facing up, okay? That'll kind of give you that stinger hook on the back of this fly. I'm just going to tie this shank on on the near side towards me. Back, forward. And just make sure whenever you're wrapping all the way where you broke that eye of that shank off that you don't cut your thread in nice loose wraps. Also, just be warned that this back hook will probably poke you several times because it hurts. And we're gonna put some super glue on this. I do not want to lose big fish to shank on the out. We're gonna put some more thread. Now we're going to go back with our brush again. And you get super glue on your hands so that way you can get the brush material all over your fingers. Nice. Tie in our brush. Now I've stopped my third probably about half an inch from where this bend's at. Like I said earlier, just kind of open wraps coming up. You don't want to really coat this thing or fill this thing up too much because it'll really soak up water and be tougher to cast. But the good thing about these brushes is they shed water pretty easily. This one should be fairly easy to cast. All right. What I'm going to do here is stop that brush. I'm going to capture my materials. I'm just going to pull this brush back for just a second. And we're gonna put some more legs in right here. So, once again, got my life flex, pull out two strands, line up the tips, fold it in half. And we're gonna make our overhand knot with all four pieces. Those legs pulled back. 
going in front of those legs with the brush. Stopping right there where that bend is. Junk scissors. Secure that wire down real good. Okay, then I'm gonna go through here and brush my brush my brush. like a mouse. All right. And then I'm gonna take my thread all the way to the eye of that hook and then kind of back a few times. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a base right there. So that way when we stick this popper body on, that it will stick to that thread. Okay. And just throw a wet finish. Three or four turns is good. We're gonna glue it so it falls apart before then, then I suck it tight. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our proper body that we painted. And like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna put this on reverse ways. I'm just gonna kinda test fit it to make sure everything fits good. That's good. You wanna make sure you leave enough room back here so that way you can actually tie it on your line. Okay, I'll pull this off. I'm gonna take my Zappa Gap super glue. I'm gonna put a pretty thick coating of glue on that. And then we're going to push this body on. You gotta do this kinda quick because if not, this glue dries really fast. There we go. Just like that. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna name this the, the house mouse. House mouse. All right, and there we go. Pretty cool thing about this fly is whenever you strip it through the water, that little popper head will ride up because of the way we have this hook put in here, and it'll actually ride like like that, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. There it is, the house mouse. If you like my videos, please, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot so I can keep making time videos and some more fishing videos. Um, like I said, I've got the White River trip coming up pretty quickly. So it's gonna be a blast. We'll have some good footage of that. And we'll see y'all next week.